Hey everybody, it's Joe. Today I'm going to be talking to you through the emergency carcothyroidotomy. TCCC has three approved techniques. And remember, no matter which technique you prefer, make sure you practice so you remain proficient. Prior to insertion, make sure that there are no defects in your cuff. The first step in this procedure is we're going to take our non-dominant hand, take your index finger, and you're going to walk down from the thyroid cartilage and find the carcothyroid membrane. If the situation permits, make sure you cleanse the site. After securing our scalpel, we're going to make a vertical incision from mid-thyroid cartilage to the carcothyroid cartilage. After making your vertical incision, repalpate the cricothyroid membrane. Next, take your scalpel, place it horizontally, and puncture through the cricothyroid membrane. Take your tracheal hook, insert, and elevate against the tracheal ring. After securing the site with your trach hook, we're going to take the tip of the crack key and insert it into the incision. Once placement has been confirmed, remove the trach hook by turning it towards the patient's shoulder. Next, we're going to inflate the cuff and remove the bougie. After removing the bougie, take your EDD and confirm placement. We're going to secure the device in place. Lastly, we're going to confirm placement. If the patient is breathing spontaneously, be sure to auscultate bilaterally to ensure adequate respirations. If your patient is apneic, hook your BVM up to the correct key. When auscultating, auscultate over the epigastric, over the left lung field, and then over the right. After you confirm placement, be sure to reassess, monitor your SpO2, and annotate your treatments on a DD Form 1380. 